Hey, remember all of that talk about eclipses back in April of this year, the total solar eclipse that moved across the continental United States? Well, you have another chance to view a partial eclipse here in Hawaii on October 2nd of this year. Have you ever wondered what causes eclipses? Is there any more to it than the moon moving in front of the sun? Well, we're going to find out today on First Alert Weather 101. Okay, first off, we're going to talk about the types of eclipses, which are all based on the position of the sun, moon, and earth. Light is constantly radiating from the sun, and that light is blocked by either the earth or the moon. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes in between the sun and the planet, leading to the moon casting a shadow down here on earth. And there's different types of solar eclipses too, a total eclipse and an annular eclipse. An annular eclipse is when the moon isn't close enough to the earth to completely block out the sun, leading to the ring of fire effect you see during an annular eclipse. The sun is still visible along the outer edge of the moon. And Earth's total eclipses are unique in the way that the moon is the right shape and close enough to completely block out the sun. And during a lunar eclipse, the order of the sun, moon, and Earth is switched up. The Earth is now in between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on Earth's lunar companion. And don't forget, you have another chance to view a partial eclipse during sunrise on October 2nd, 2024, here in Hawaii. The sun will be 45% obscured by the moon. And that's it for First Alert Weather 101 today. Class dismissed.